Oh, what is that? I didn't know it was that bad. Whoa! That man just wanted to eat Funfetti cake. That's what I'm saying. So I see that and I just think mental illness, basically. Welcome back, everybody. Insane intro, darling. Thank you so much, Mrs. Lush. Guys, today we're gonna be looking at some outrageous celebrity transformation. Some we're all probably familiar with, some maybe we're not. Let's get right into it with one of the most obvious. We're going there. We're going there. <laughs> the MJ timeline. Pretty normal so far through childhood. Still looking good in the 70s. I mean, they really took a picture from every year, huh? Wow. Ooh, things started to change a little in the 80s. 80s, oh boy. This <laughs> Dude, it's the, the way it's trans Morgan. Oh, the jawline now, oh whoa. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, the nose. Oh God. Mm-hmm. Yep. That like it in the later year. This was still nineties. What what was that year? Whoa! Oh the nose! Two thousand was not oh! good to my gosh. What does he do? Like ah! That is crazy, dude. I mean, listen, that's probably one of the most, I would say, notable transformations yeah. of all time, right? Dramatic. We all know Michael well. Jackson had his issues, right? Can blame a lot of things, but certainly the industry he was involved in has maybe a lot to do with his, his mental issues. But yeah, yikes. I'm curious about this one because I'm a big Keanu Reeves fan. I feel like this one's not going to be that crazy, right? I don't think so. But it's just because he's he doesn't seem like the dude that cares about like plastic surgery and stuff. He just still looks handsome, like, oh no, it's still early. Is it about to get crazy? No, I don't think so. No. I like this one because it's just more like, this is just the natural progression of an aging Hollywood star that hasn't filled his faith, face with shit. I knew it, man. I was like, there's no way this Keanu Reeves one's gonna be like some sort of negative connotation. No, Keanu looks... is a legend. You know, he you you know the like the, the lore of Keanu Reeves, how he's like the most loved man. Yeah, I in do, the world. I do. Yeah, I like do. he just like one of the nicest, most humble, down to earth guys. There's like stories from people that have interacted with him, like generally not notable, and they're just like, Yeah, he he's goes out of his way to like do things for people, like just the coolest guy ever. I hope nothing ever bad comes out about that, man, because he's like my Hollywood hero. You're breathtaking. All right, this is another one probably top three most notable. I've seen some stuff from her lately that is so cringe. But the Outrageous. Like, the Like a Virgin Star Madonna. Like she's what, in her 60s and she's making like TikToks like she's 13 and it's really cringy. In the last couple of years though, it's gotten re- eh, here we go. We're starting. Oh We're yeah, starting. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Like, mm -hmm. here we go. That's the one. Oh, that's the most recent one. Like, what happened, bro? What is that? I'm not wanting to typically talk about people's physical appearance, but when it's so outwardly, aggressively noticeable, like, people are gonna comment on yes. it. And this is what people do. There's, like, people writing So many about memes it. of that against that. Oh, from the Saw? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. from Saw, the yeah, Saw meme. Hold I've on. I've seen lots of those. <laughs> I feel like I heard that she was... Oh, God. God. Oh, man. Separated at mer birth, Madonna and Sa. You know who I'm curious about? Zac Efron. A lot of talk about what's going on yeah. with Zac. Fans are going crazy because Zac Efron got a new face. This is how we remember Zac Efron, and this is his face now. It's mainly the jaw that's looking a lot different, and a lot of people were saying that he got plastic surgery. But Zac spoke out a couple days ago and said he hit the corner of a fountain, passed out, and woke up, and his chin bone was hanging off his face. And he was basically saying the muscles in his chin overcompensated, like when they were recovering and just got really big. I mean, it's a fact that some dentists were saying that he got reconstructive surgery, but whether Zach looks like this, or like this, or even this, he's still hot. That, he does look a lot different. It's, it's just like so different. It's like the David Hasselhoff effect. I'm so curious huh. because there was a lot of controversy around this because he he was like asked about it and it got, it was like a weird sensitive subject and he delivered this story about how he passed yeah. out and smashed his jaw on a fountain in his house years ago before this sort of transformation happened. So to me, it feels like you're kind of just making this thing up or kind of post hoc using this excuse to justify this insane jaw surgery. Here's the deal. If that is true, then it's like, okay, more power to you. You have the jaw of an Iron Man because you broke it half and that's great but like if you're just getting cosmetic surgery because that's what you want to do just like be open about it that's like, how i feel is do it don't lie about own it. it 
So 90s rock, back when he was the rock legend. What an entertainer though. Yeah. Just one of the best. I mean, subpar actor at most, but great entertainer in general. It was really, I want to say like the 2010s where he really started to get yoked. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. 2012, was that Jumanji? It might have been. No, oh, wait, okay. no way that, that no, that right. was like Fast and the Furious maybe. Has he been on the Fast and the Furious? Yeah. Yeah, I see what yeah. yeah, but there, 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 look at him in this, dude. That's like po that's like early cycle days. Like man just blew up. There's even picked like so, like stuff he posts on Instagram where it looks like he's in like a cut where he's just super striated at his age, which is crazy. This man runs with a posse, with a crew. There's like no interview that he will take where they're allowed to ask about this type of thing. Whatever he's doing, whether it's like low level GH or there's some testosterone, there's some hormone supplementation going on. I have no problem with that. And I hate the idea that that takes away from the man's work ethic is insane. Like there, sure. there is a level, you're not just gonna like pin yourself with something or take a supplement and like, turn into a freak of nature. He is one of, I think, the best work ethics in all of Hollywood when it comes to his career and his physical appearance. Before and after the plastic surgery. Yeah, here he's it is. He's obviously a lot older. Yeah, well, earlier. I mean, he's always been pretty rich. It got a little aggressive. Right there. Uh, yep. Square jaw. Teeth oh! too. Whoa. Wow, dude. What is that, dude? That looks terrible. See, Sorry, yeah, I mean, there's obviously a point when you're better off just letting nature take its course. Yeah, the teeth too. Yeah. Veneers. Veneers are a funny thing. I like them, but sometimes <sighs> it's too dramatic. It, they and just, it just doesn't go they with the rest look, of your face. I just don't like, yeah, and they're just too porcelain and fake. You know who Farrah Abraham is? Of course I do. Are Whoops. you shitting me? Do you not know who she is? Are they gonna go backwards on her? I was gonna say, cause- I think they are, they're going backwards on her. Oh, there it is. Wait, she was a 16 and pregnant girl? That's Teen what mom. it was. Teen mom turned prom star, I think? Yeah, yeah you yeah. know it. Ooh. Whoa! Yeah. I didn't know it was that bad. She like pretty infamously had a <sighs> allergic reaction to some filler that she got in her lips and there's a very popular photo of her with giant bee sting lips. So I see that and I just think mental illness, basically. Go see a I do. I didn't realize how much work she had done to her face. I thought that a lot of it were a result of her dramatic weight loss, mm -hmm. but she looks quite a bit different and it's not just weight. She did it at the right time. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Nose, chin. Wow, yeah, she looks really different. She, uh, I don't know what really she looks like now. So she started losing quite a bit of weight here already, I'd say. Well, this is a, a 10 years ago, wow. I can't lie, I think she looks amazing. Currently? Yeah. Or just yeah, I, I will say, I think she, she did it well. Sure. There's a way to... I mean, she still looks very natural, normal. I don't know if she had had... There, you can see the nose. The nose got... Definitely the nose got done there. And that's she lost a lot. Lost a lot, lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Okay. I think she looks like a babe. I would say like so dramatic from where dramatic. where she came from a decade ago, but I think not dramatic as far as like normalized beauty standards of today. I would agree. There was a period where she was like she was getting shit for like losing weight and like celebrating losing weight. That's just the whole like. I have a lot to say about that, so don't get me it's started. It's fat phobic to like celebrate losing weight, which is the craziest oh, thing. Feel better about yourself. Yeah, listen, you do you, girl. Get so. Don't take me down that rabbit hole too. The original Samezy. Yeah, the Kard Kardashians are a classic case of the samesies. But it's like, it's hard to blame, you know, to, to like point fingers or blame anyone in yeah. particular. It's just kind of the way culture has shifted and gone, partly due to social media. I mean, there's always been pretty drastic beauty standards. I mean, you think about the Victoria's Secrets models in the 90s, starving themselves to be real thin at all Hit times and how, out. how that was like glorified. There needs to be a balance between doing things that make you feel better about yourself and also trying to find a way to accept yourself for who you are. Wise words. Wait, Hillary Swank and Natalie Portman? I always thought they looked similar. A million dollar baby. Oh, these are just Act like trust oh, roles. roles for roles. She right. with the 90 days to get into shape. She boxed for two hours a day, complete weightlifting, and she also ate 4,000 calories a day. 
Interesting. For the film Black Swan, Natalie Portman lost 20 pounds. Portland apparently barely ate and smoked a lot of cigarettes in order to sell I heard them. about that. That's a lot. Yeah. Some of the best actors that can really... There's some bales on the list. Yeah. This might be about the, when he did the movie The Boxer. I hope it is. He lost... Like, he's... Like, he lost it was so, 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 so much so weight. Dramatic. Yeah. Uh, did you see The Fighter with Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale? American Psycho, 2000. I didn't see that. This was really his breakout role, I think. Look at that, dude. Emaciated. Year later, bulks it Killer. up. Talk about commitment to the role, man. Like, I... What a great... Yeah, there... That was, yeah, just up and down. I feel like there hasn't been one word. Oh, look at that, dude. What a... Wait. That's him. Isn't that a crazy outfit? Wild. Dude, speaking of like weight gain and weight loss for men in particular for roles, can we talk about Rob McElhenney? He literally just put on, like he put on a ton of weight because he just wanted to be a fat guy. And so he wrote himself as becoming a fat guy and just gained a ton of weight for like a few episodes, seasons of the show. That man just wanted to eat Funfetti cake. That's what I'm saying. But like, but look at this dude, yoked to the tits over here. No, I know. That Wait, John Krasinski's on yeah. here? Oh yeah. I don't. Is he I don't, just aging well? I, I mean, know. no. He looks super handsome now. I don't know if there's been surgery involved or. I think he's just aging like fine wine yeah, over there, I but just, I don't know. That's just a fine wine routine right there. Maybe a little filler. Who knows? I like a good fine wine aging. A little name. glow up. Yeah, a little glow up, honey. If there's ever a couple of fake fictional couple you were gonna ship, it's gonna be Jim and Pam. Okay. I just gotta tell you. Maybe okay. you should let me stop working and go watch The Office. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we're done. Go get it started. See you in the next video. Peace.